Okay. Dying 30 year old Mustang carpet. Um, <clears throat> so I've been watching a bunch of videos on YouTube and I've been learned a lot from uh, Chris uh, the, at the Infamous Project. His, that guy knows the, these cars inside and out, upside and down. <laughs> um, so I got the car mostly dynamited. Um, I still have some more to do. Um, I'm going a little bit overboard. Uh, I know I don't need to do all of it, but I'm going to use up what I have. And if I have to buy more, I'll buy more. Um, I got some other places, but I still got to tear the dash out and all that. But I ripped the carpet out of this car and they had cut the carpet where they had bolted the roll bar down and then the seats that were in it that didn't fit he had cut holes through the carpet to get the seats in and drilled holes so i was looking at i was planning on just buying brand new aftermarket carpet and everybody from watching people's videos and especially chris's videos that these carpets are the aftermarket carpets aren't great and if you can salvage a factory oem carpet that's your best bet um and i watched him dye one in a big 55 gallon drum <clears throat> with the rid dye and it looked like a real pain in the ass <laughs> so <laughs> here's the carpet that came out of the car you can see that it's you know they've cut it ripped it extra holes for seats that don't fit and all that kind of stuff so I pulled the carpet out of the parts car and man was it rough I ripped all the backing off of it all the insulation pressure washed this carpet for I don't know maybe an hour hour and a half and you can see because I'm like I laughed the whole time because the, the passenger seat and all down the passenger side it was is stained brown this carpet was gray I've used, used bleach white anything to get get whatever off gummy bears cigarette butts cigarette smoke semen whatever has been on this carpet the stains won't come out but they're it's clean I mean I pressure washed it sprayed it down with everything and until the water ran clean so and so I've been looking doing some research and found this uh dupe was it dupa color is that who it is yeah dupa color vinyl and fabric spray flexible finish i watched a couple videos guy was doing his interior um in a acura or something so i was like well let me try a little area so <laughs> this is where we're at right now after just two um two coats so you, when you brush it, you can see, you know, there's some gray in there. So I'm thinking the more I go over it, the better. But actually, even though I got gloves on, I've felt it and it feels the same. It doesn't feel like it's been painted. So I'm going to go ahead and redo this whole carpet in black. And hopefully, hopefully it covers up. Well, of course, it's black. It's going to cover up all the stains. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to do all the interior pieces with the Sim um, interior Landau black, which is what the car came with. Redo all the trim. I got all new trim pieces and stuff I'm going to do in the Sim trim paint and try to make it look factory. Um, I'm going to do all, you know, do all this trim and stuff. I'm going to, I'm probably going to end up repainting the car. Um, but that'll be down the road because I'm going to, I think I'm going to do, the car has a rear bumper on it. It's a, like a saline style bumper. I don't know if it's a real saline bumper. I know it was yellow because from looking underneath, they didn't paint it or they didn't get paint all the way up there. So it's yellow underneath, but I think I'm going to do the Detch kit um, from Chris. Um, just because it's already got the molded in rear bumper it had side skirts on it at some point so there's a 
few little holes and stuff where they had put the side skirts in. I want to redo the, the trim because they just painted right over it and it's coming off. So that's all in the future, but I think the detch kit just looks cool. I'm going to lower, like have the car lowered some, and I think it'll give it a look that you're, I've never seen a detch car before uh, in person and you sure as hell probably won't see one in Maryland. So why not it be me? Um, but yeah, so, and I started just spraying some test spots on the seats. I got to go, um, this is still wet, but temporarily I'm going to throw these seats in the car and then we're going to re probably replace them with, um, the Corbos or Recaros, whichever ones from Indonesia or whatever that the guy's redoing, but temporarily I'm going to put these in, but I'm going to dye everything black and then the, the headliners already black and somebody had redone it at one point so i am going to pull it down and make sure there's sound deadening up here i don't think there is but i'm not sure so i'm going to at least take a look at it and then do the sound deadening in the doors and all that before i put all new put all new speakers and door pins and i got a whole list of stuff but I got a week off at Christmas, so instead of going and visiting people and doing Christmas stuff, which I don't like to do, I'm going to be out here in the garage playing with the car. So that's the update for now. Um, I'll do another update when this is done and see how it looks. And I'm ready to get it back in the car, but I don't know. That may happen pretty soon, but that's where we're at right now on uh, December... 15th. Thanks.